I have to remind myself that some birds aren't meant to be caged. Hope is a good thing, maybe the best of things, and no good thing ever dies. I find I'm so excited, I can barely sit still or hold a thought in my head. I think it's the excitement only a free man can feel, a free man at the start of a long journey whose conclusion is uncertain. There are places in this world that aren't made out of stone. That there's something inside. That they can't get to, that they can't touch. That's yours. Let me tell you something my friend. Hope is a dangerous thing. Hope can drive a man insane. Fear can hold you prisoner. Hope can set you free. That's where I want to live the rest of my life. A warm place with no memory. It goes back to what I said about Andy wearing his freedom like an invisibility coat, about how he never really developed a prison mentality. His eyes never got that dull look. We sat and drank with the sun on our shoulders and felt like free men. Lord, it's a miracle. A man up and vanished like a fart in the wind. They send you here for life, and that's exactly what they take. First you hate them. Then you get used to them. Enough time passes, it gets so you depend on them. That's institutionalized. The funny thing is, on the outside I was an honest man. Straight as an arrow. I had to come to prison to be a crook. I look back on the way I was then, a young, Stupid kid who committed that terrible crime. I want to talk to him. I want to try and talk some sense to him, tell him the way things are. But I can't. In prison a man will do most anything to keep his mind occupied. Prison life consists of routine, and then more routine. You eat when we say you eat. You shit when we say you shit and you piss when we say you piss. You got that, you maggot dick motherfucker. Get busy living or get busy dying. That's goddamn right. <laughs>